A blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers Welcome back, welcome back to the channel Thank you all for checking this one out Viewers and subscribers CWI will have to go on a campaign To try and clean up their image pretty soon we remember what happened in the India tour the other day and now we see where former West Indies player Deandra Dutton she recently did an interview and she's exposing a lot of things that are actually going on in CWI in and around the West Indies setup so we're going to talk about it plus we're going to talk a little bit about West Indies senior pace Akima Roach who is heading back to Surrey that seems to be a never ending love affair between Kima Roach and Surrey so just give a listening ear until the end and let me know what you all think in the comment section alright so I am taking this one from the ESPN website and they are just typing the, you know they just have the information here based on how it was conducted in the interview so i'm gonna give you a few um of what deandra Dutton said so they start by saying speaking in detail for the first time since her shock international retirement Dutton told the ladies who switch podcast that the board has a lot of work to do for the game to improve in the caribbean right so this is deandra Dutton now and i quote to be honest there's been a lot going on in the camp and so much i've been through so many uh, so many things that needed to be sorted out and the players not getting the respect and basically the attention because there are things that needed to be done in order for players to actually perform to the best of their ability she went on to say if you are uncomfortable and if you are not, and if you don't have the things in place for your players to be best they, uh, that they can be actually you know to be the best that they can be to actually improve then there's always going to be problems right let me go down some more and see what Deandra Dutton is saying so she went on she says this is basically me right now playing in franchise I am still looking to achieve just what I wanted to achieve when I was a West, when I was a West Indies cricketer to be the best in the world to be like one of those number one players to be ranked with <laughs> she went on and say I am known as a power hitter and I'm versatile in the field a good feeler a bowler uh, that can knock over a couple of people but I just want to be remembered uh, I, but I just want to be to be remembered the person I am she said that's Deandra Dutton right so that is what she's saying she wants to be remembered as the person that she is that's Deandra Dutton she's saying that she's learning and um, she's continuing to improve right so that is what she's saying my viewers and subscribers she went on to say um, there is no second thoughts about retiring from international cricket, right? Um, calling for she's calling for better support for West Indies players and improvements in their regional structure. So regionally, she wants to see improvement, but she's not thinking about coming out of retirement. So she went on to say it has a lot to do with the board, how they handle um, how they handle stuff, and how they handle players, and how they actually speak to players. She says certain people take things different so it is a lot of work that West Indies cricket will need to do will need to be um, that will need to be done and I think they need to do it as fast as possible because um, it's not going to end well for West Indies cricket or cricket in the Caribbean she went on and she said they need to take a leaf out of Australia and English and the English books where they have players that um, when they see potential in them they develop them uh, from whatever stage they are so that when they actually get into senior level it's like they have played there before she went on and she said 
you will see a player come into West Indies cricket and then you actually see them disappear. It's probably because of their fitness or whatever um, the case may be. But in that case, if I am seeing you struggling with something, then I want to help. I would want to help you uh, in order for you to get better to play for West Indies cricket. But my thing is that it's basically like you are getting what you want out of me and then you are then you just throw me aside. Hmm. She went on to say, I don't think that should be. As players, not even players that actually retire either, you should actually show players respect because they were once West Indies players and they were once well and they once uh, they were once doing well for West Indies cricket, so they take them. So you know, so they would take. They uh, they shouldn't be disrespected. So she's saying, if you are playing for West Indies cricket, or if you played and you are now retired, you should not be disrespected, and you should not be used as a wet rug. She's saying so. Why well, I tell them of you as a subscriber, she says that the West Indies um. You know, the West Indies Cricket Board needs to clean up its act, its act and there is a lot of work that needs to be done if they are going to um, keep up with what is happening around the world. So, that is the answer that in my viewers and subscribers letting us know that things are not good and uh, good and bushy in West Indies Cricket. Uh, quite a few people already knew that, you know, um, well, she didn't pinpoint any specific um specific incident or anything you know just letting us know that listen CWI needs to clean up its act but it seems as if our main problem is respect they are not respecting the players they are not uh, speaking that speaking to them properly seems as if they are just throwing them all over the place or, or whatever the case is you know um, she also speaks about resources saying that if you don't have the right resources you cannot um, perform you know which is something that we, we really struggle with but you know um, it's, it's interesting. We're going, we're going to look and see if we, if anybody from CWI will come out and 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 try to repel this or try to do some sort of um, cover up cover up job. Usually, when we have people coming out and speaking like this and don't call anybody name or anything, you know, they they usually try to let it blow over or pass by. And in truth and in fact, the Anja Datin did not say anything that we, do, we don't already know. So let us see how that will work out, my peeps. So that is it for the Deanja Datin aspect. Um, let me quickly move on to another veteran of West Indies cricket who is still active. And that's Kima Roach. And um, according to some um, information that I am taking from a, a website called The Cricketer, it is saying that Surrey have re-signed Kima Roach for the final stage of the county championship title race. They say the West Indies seamer played five games for the club at the start of the, of the summer, uh, picking up 18 wickets before uh, cutting his thin short by one game for a family matter. They say, but, um, but for a second successive, successive season, Surrey have re-enlisted re uh, Roach for the home stretch. They say he took six wickets in the match in the first game of his return against Essex in 2022. So this is, so, this is what they said. This is what Roach said. Surrey is a second home for me and I am looking forward to getting back um, down to business ahead of three massive games. We know what the goal is for the team and I am going to give everything to help achieve it. So they say Surrey head into this uh september uh into september at the top of the table uh with the chances to be crowned um the the, the, the champion so let us see how that will work out my viewers and subscribers you know um as i said kima roach is always um doing some good work there for sorry um you know I, I'm, I'm trying to look if i can find any any more information on this here but that is all that they are saying, my viewers and subscribers. Kima Roach is heading back over there to Surrey to do some work um, with the team over there. So, you know, uh, yeah. Gonna leave it right here for now, my people. Big up on yourself. I will touch base again.